All right, guys, so we're gonna go over the seated hamstring curl here. Love this movement, one of my favorite hamstring curls for really isolating the hamstrings. What we wanna do here when we're getting into the machine and setting things up, we wanna set up the seat position so that your knee is kind of in line with the pivot point, okay? And then we're not overextended in the top position. So you can see I'm about to snap Dylan's knees off there. If we're overextended, first things first, and you come to the top, the first 15 degrees of knee flexion on any curl movement is gonna be the calf, taking control of that. So that's an area we wanna pay attention to, control at the top. What Dylan's gonna do here, pull his toes back slightly, to this position here, he's gonna brace himself firmly. So we wanna make sure the pelvis isn't moving and the back isn't arching off of that seat. We want a very stable position. This is gonna allow his femurs and thighs not to move around. He's locked in place here. He's gonna use the bar or the pad here. I like to press on here to lock himself in. Now there's, there's a very efficient setup. He's not moving, nothing's moving. There is no loss of energy or power throughout the, the movement. Dylan is gonna drive hard through the ankle joint, pulling all the way down, nice control at the bottom, nice control up. Again, stopping just shy of full extension, driving hard down, really trying to get that hamstring fully shortened at the bottom. With a movement like this, the more time you can spend in the bottom position here, the more you're really gonna isolate that hamstring.